learn martial arts or, or get fit and all that kind of stuff. So play goal to everyone, mainly Taekwondo. If you are not in martial arts, pick the parts that work right for, for you. Okay. okay, so ma'am, take her so, away. Yeah, so last, actually not last week, two weeks ago we started the stamina um, uh, tutorial. We, we just talked about basic things, right? So running and slapping, and it was not really Taekwondo specific, but today we're going really in deep. And uh, so the first one is footwork, second one is kicking, third one is push-pull kind of stamina, right? So in a fight, that's what I find what we need. So the first one, footwork, I like to, you know, so everybody has different types of footwork. You, you everybody has their own style. For me, I go all in. You know, but the best way to figure out is to actually film yourself or actually watch your fights, right? So you have to see what kind of footwork you do, what's, what your regular, like rhythm is, right? So mine is basically, I don't know, I, I do a couple of things. I go back and forth, back and forth like this. And with that, you want to use that exact footwork to practice and to train. Because if you try to train a different type of footwork, that's not going to help you in your actual fight, right? So what's your footwork, Ali? Okay, I, I was going to yeah, say, yeah, I'll I'll see, I'll see your, see what? mine is exactly the same. Um, I used to practice, uh, one of my mentors was uh, Professor Jinsun Tae. I'm um, Finn Wade, uh, amazing fighter, and um, he just looked like he was uh, flying and, and going on water. But I used to use a line and, and practice one uh, and back, and then like one, two, so or one, two, or one, two, three. So any sort of like this sort of uh, motion is like a. Yeah, I remember that. I remember watching you. You're very smooth going back and forth. Yeah, I was trying to use this as, as my as my stepping because I remember one of my training partners, uh, Master Farah Akmal. Hated the step. Like, he loved it. As in, he hated it because it really, really bothered him. Um, because he only told me that after he retired. He never told me that during your training. Um, but this one really keeps people on edge. And this is my natural way of moving. So some sort of uh, and obviously it's not the, the same movements because it, then you can be predicted. But some sort of back and forth, slide, like this sort of movement, and then obviously switching as well. So that's the way uh, I prefer to move, and uh, it worked well for me. Yeah. So with that said. We are going to train our footwork now. So how do we train it? So in a fight, our exchange is usually, what, less than five seconds? Yeah, that study actually says on average mm -hmm. is five to eight seconds, five which, eight seconds. but I think more likely is probably closer to five seconds. The eight seconds of the thin weights, <laughs> <laughs> the heavy weights are, are yeah, the five seconds, yeah. but average is five to uh, eight seconds, which I think the actual official average is six seconds. So, mm -hmm. okay. so, with that said, uh, we're going to be training a very a very fast burst of anaerobic heart rate exercise. So with that, we're going to use our footwork in 10 second bursts to train. And we can use that actually with the 2020 armor chest guard. Because it actually takes 10 second increments yeah. of um, yeah, your, your phone. phone. Yeah, so yeah. Um, I'm going to draw on here. Um, so we, you know what, when you, when you practice, right, you don't practice just enough, you know, you don't practice, like if, a, if, a, if a round is two minutes, you don't practice so that you can only last the two minutes, right? Because things happen, injuries happen, you have to have way more in the, in the, in the tank to be able to uh, perform at a higher level. So even though the burst is, let's say on average five, six seconds, you should be able to do a 10 second burst, okay? So the way we're going to, um, what it's going to show, and the way we're going to practice this one for the footwork, is we're gonna do a 10 second burst, so let's say 20, 20. How many are you gonna do this one for? Uh, we're gonna do for six, six times. Six, so 60, so that's oh, two, minutes? two minutes. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. so all the way to 120. So we'll do a, a 10 second burst, we'll see what the power output is, you know, whatever it is. Then we'll rest here, and then we'll do another burst, rest, burst, rest, <laughs> you get the idea. So uh, in one minute, that will be um, six 10 second uh, bursts, but then you take three off, um, so you do three 10 second bursts, and then obviously for two minutes you, you double that. Uh, so that's what we'll be showing you. Just like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then what we're going to be able to do is look at what these numbers are, and those are the ones that we're going to. Um, determine if they're good or not, or if they're improving. Okay, so again, 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off, 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off, 
and then see what the what the average is. Okay. Uh, now the app is going to sh um, show these as negative. Uh, you know, the, it's going to take the average of everything. That's okay. You don't have to look at that average. You can again look at the average of the the, the session that you actually did. Mm -hmm. You got everything so, set up? Or you? Yeah, with that, uh, I have the 20 grammar set up. So, in these 10 second increments, you are going full, full, full burst. Okay, that means like the fast, the fastest that you can do it. So, with my full work, uh, within the, the 10 second rest period, we're actually just doing slow down. Yeah, so resting. Rest doesn't mean you Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> resting means that you are not in exchange. So, when you're in a fight, when you're resting, you're not just standing there, right? So, you're in a fight, you're moving around, moving around. But with that 10 second here, we're going to raise that. Yeah. 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 You're going to raise your heart rate all the way as fast as you can for 120%, all right? Pushing it all the way. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Uh, and she's sore. Uh, I am so sore. I'm going to go. I'll do my best though. Stemner, a little live mode. Uh, you said two minutes. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to start the game. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what the champs got. Still love your intro. <laughs> okay, um, go ahead. First, oh, okay, you're gonna do a rest for the first one. Okay, and go. Okay, rest. Go. All right, stop. Okay, you can see the little intervals down here, right? And then Yvette on the vest, you can see when the lights go all the way down, that's a break. And now go. Stamina is going up. Going up. Yeah. So first round was the worst. Second was better. Third round was better. Let's see how this one goes. Stop. That was about the same as the last interval. Uh, rest is stepping, ma'am. <laughs> go ahead. Go, 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 go. <laughs> the data is going to be off on this one. Sorry, guys. Can take it the rest. Just take two rests for this one. <laughs> Go. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> we'll set the time run out on that one. Um, and then let's look at the data. Man, I need to warm up. Oh Woo! my god! Yeah, she just oh, came great. in that one cold. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a look at your numbers. Hold on a second here. Okay, so here we took a break this first 10 seconds, right? Here is the last, the second 20 seconds, the second interval. Um, just about a 400. The fourth interval, she passed 400, sixth interval, uh, she passed for uh, almost 500. Uh, then in the, in the eighth interval, she was about the same as the previous one. And then the, uh, I mean, pretty consistent actually. In the, in the second last interval, she was also pretty good. So, um, you know, the, she literally did not warm up. So uh, you, that's why the power output wasn't as good as the, in the first interval. And she kind of climbed up. So she was actually warming up during this. Um, but we can see that then, you know, how um, she is faring in each of the intervals. This is more of maybe a realistic way of doing some of the interval training for stamina. But uh, again, what is, uh, what is stamina? Uh, stamina is um, power sustained over time, right? If you kick with the same amount of power in the first second, then you do in the last second, um, then, then you have good stamina, okay? So that's what we're able to show. And... Uh, so that was the uh, relative footwork.
Um, yeah. So in between kicks that I'm doing, moving back and forth, making sure my footwork is going side to side at angles, all different kinds of angles. Uh, with with the kicking one, uh, what I was going to do is just straight kicking. Just keep on kicking with that either one leg or another leg or a specific kick that you want to use. Yeah, so you might not notice uh, because to her is a totally different level. She was actually st stepping in between what she means by, let me show you, I'll show you what she means by not stepping in between. So we'll give her a little bit of a break. By not stepping in between. Yeah, so what she was doing in the last round, um, she was kicking and a little bit of stepping, a little bit of this. So, which is different. So to her, that's not kicking, and to us, that's kicking. Uh, what she means by the kicking one is actually just. Just like literally no stepping in between, just just kicking, pure kicking. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I mean by uh, kicking stamina. You can actually use a specific kick that you want to do. It can be just completely one minute of just, just back kicks, right? If you want to work on that kicking stamina, or a kick that you hardly ever use and you're not confident in, I suggest you use that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Glad we got this. We didn't spill all that water. <laughs> I'm just getting started. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, so that was the, the footwork one, that was the kicking one, and we showed how to, to, to measure it. And again, working with your with your coach to look at these data points and uh, and see where you need to uh, improve or where you are. Uh, that, that's super key. Um, the app, by the way, we're going to have a feature soon that will uh, aggregate that data, so summarize that data over time, so you'll be able to see what it was last week versus this week and all that. So right now the data is stored on the, on, on the app, and, uh, and then we'll also have a way for you to actually tie it in terms of what kind of kicks you did, so you'll be able to tell what your left leg roundhouse kick was over time. So that's coming up. That's a lot soon. of good data. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Yeah, yeah, so we're excited about that. And um, okay, so talked about footwork, talked about kicking. Again, this this 10 second burst, and like it looks pretty easy, but it is not. You're going full force, 200% all out. I want, like the best way to do it is the first one, go all the way out, then you can really test yourself, test your endurance. And you know what your real stamina exactly. is. Exactly, yeah. test your stamina. Yeah, yeah. Man, I went full out. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I mean, why? What's the reason for that, right? Is because I mean, you could come up with a fighter. Maybe they start off strong like that, just to kind of, and, and maybe their game is that they are really good at stamina, and they just wear you down from the, you know, from the first ten seconds, and then they're just going to continuously make mistakes, right? Because when your stamina isn't there, that your reaction time isn't there, your power isn't there, so you're not scoring, and and then you start losing your battle high, and your strategy changes, you're you're you demoralized, tired. like it's just downhill. You're basically tired. Yeah, you're tired mentally, physically, everything. And just goes downhill. So um, great point, great tip. Go all out the first one, right? Then you can really kind of see uh, where you are. If you just kind of like think, okay, I want to kind of keep my average here and keep my average all the way. That's uh, you just cheating yourself. But uh, but yeah. Yeah, um, don't be afraid to go all out. Don't be afraid to see your numbers declining because that's how you can actually improve yourself, right? Yeah. Exactly. That's my mentality. Yeah, you're right. A, a lot of people are like, okay, well, I don't want to show this to my coach or I don't want to kind of do this myself. But again, what gets measured gets improved, all right? That's the key thing. You have to measure it. You have to uh, know it. Uh, don't be afraid of it. Uh, and uh, once you know what the numbers are, you can make steps towards uh, getting better. All right. I think I can show you guys the next one now. <laughs> and now that I'm a little bit more relaxed and calm. So these are, this one is one of my favorites. It's the uh, push-pull kind of stamina. Um, you know, I, I see a lot of, you know, football players, they have those things in the field. I have really seen those with like these big, um, I don't know. Kind of the metal things with the pads. The metal things with the pads, yeah, and yeah. they run and they just push that thing all across the field. I wish we had one of these, but <laughs> we have Bob here for that, okay? So, uh, one of the things that I like to do is, uh, if you have an elastic, you can get this anywhere. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it at, uh, a sports store or anything like that. You can get one that's uh, light, thicker, or you know. Or yeah, or longer or, or shorter. Longer. Yeah. So you want to get the right length. So you think this is like the right? Uh, you suggest this sort of length and this sort of swing? Yeah, with uh, with this kind of thing, it's it's okay for me. It's just enough. Um, for your size. So for more, let's for let's, my size. let's show the let's show the camera kind of the length of it so people can see. Yeah, easy average. Um, so it's about a meter, I guess, 
almost. Yeah, this is. Yeah, these are meter mats. So yeah, that's about a meter light for a near what five two. Two? <laughs> five two. Okay, so for her height, about a meter. Uh, so I mean, typically, I mean, you know, you have to look at your fighting distance, but then you, you have to look at your kind of uh, what your distance is when you're close by. And um, so. A meter will probably yeah, work for a lot can, of people. You can actually like, tie, tie it, it to, you can tie yeah. it to make it smaller. If you can't find this, you can actually use bicycle tires. I used to oh. use those back in the day. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. So I'm going to make this a little bit harder for me. I'm going to tie it up here a little bit. And this one is to help me train my uh, pushing endurance in the clinch. Okay, so a lot of people in the clinch is the most tiring part of the fight because you're literally wrestling each other, right? So, Which is a totally different like totally, energy system. Yes. Right. Yes. So this is just enough resistance. I don't want too much resistance that I really need to push so far back and have to kick really hard like that. That's not going to help you. Okay. That's just going to strain your muscles. You just need enough resistance to keep going, to keep training that stamina. Okay. So again, same thing. Uh, we're using the same type of format. Ten seconds on, ten seconds off. Um, and also, I mean, if you guys, obviously, uh, if you have the 2020 20 vest, record everything. If you don't have it, you can still do these trainings and um, kind of hope that you're improving. I mean, I, I, I hate to laugh and, and, and say it that way, but that is what you, you will be improving um, if you do it uh, for sure. But as to which parts you need to improve or how much you improve, you just won't know uh, until you get into a match and you kind of figure it out. Um, so these, you can still do this practice, obviously, anytime, anywhere without the 2020 20 vest, but with it, you can actually measure. We'll do three rounds just because I think the time is not yeah, Okay, so 60 out. seconds. We'll do 60 seconds. So again, 10 seconds, all that you got. If you want to, you can wear a chest guard as well. This is going to hurt your uh, body a little bit. But and we get that extra that. weight too. Yeah, the extra weight. So what I'm going to do is hold it as close as I can, just enough kind of to have that push. And I need to push and kick just like that. Okay? So we're going to go all about 10 seconds. Ten second rest. You and me, Bob. <laughs> All, right. All right. I'll tell you one. I'll tell you one. Hey. Right. All right. Rest. First 10 second burst. Okay, breathe, breathe, breathe. And go. Rest. Oh man. <laughs> it's super different when you have something holding you back, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Okay, three sessions. Crazy. Okay, let's look at the numbers. You actually uh, went up in power. What? It's pretty crazy, yeah. Um, so you can see here the first interval, uh, just over 200. Uh, just over 200. Uh, took a rest there. Uh, just over, just under 400. And this one here, again, just past 400. So your power went up over time. So great to be able to have that stamina. Uh, she is world rank number one, so that is not easy to do. But, uh, but there you have it, that's the numbers. And a totally different energy system uh, that you're training there. So marking those numbers down, you know, having those numbers down, again, in a spreadsheet, or uh, again, the, our app will track it for you later on. Uh, things for you to see, oh, sorry. Um, I just want to add on one more thing. Uh, so we did our push stamina. Alec, you want to help me for a second? I just want to show them the other one that you can use. So you can basically have the elastic tied into a wall, tied into a weight, or have somebody as strong as Ali over here to hold it. You can actually wear a chest guard as well. Um, you can tie it to your chest guard, put it to your hips, um, and same kind of thing. 
uh, for this kind of stamina. This is the pulling stamina. So you're going to kick and run back again. Run back. Just like that. Right? So that's what we call the push pull stamina. Whew. Yeah, great. Great. Um, again, working with your, your, your coach to uh, figure out those numbers uh, will be great to see again which parts to improve. Um, yeah. Footwork, kicking, push, push, pull. And uh, in a great app, you can actually see the 10 second increments of how your stamina and your speed and your power is, right? So yeah, yeah. And you know, you might find out that you have good push, pull stamina, but bad kicking or bad footwork. Um, again, Good things to know um, so that you can work with your coach to, to improve on that. So speaking of working with a coach to improve on that, so probably next week we'll make the official announcement of our uh, 25 member certified coaching program uh, where you'll be able to get Miss Yvette Young here, who obviously is an expert in martial arts, Taekwondo and 25 Armor to do some one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching with you. And uh, we'll announce the details of that next week. And um, you can have access to her uh, big brain of martial arts knowledge uh, and tie data. And so we'll make that announcement next week. And also another big announcement next week, which I can't say because she tells me I can't talk about it. Uh, but that'll be another one to watch out for next week uh, for the 2020 hour owners. Uh, that'll be something that you definitely do not want to miss. Um, oh, we were just exactly 30 minutes. We are good because we started one minute late. It is now 2.31 in the Eastern Time Zone. Um, yeah, I think that's, uh, is there anything else you want to talk about with the stamina? My god, I'm dripping. I'm dripping, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's cool in this room, it's like air conditioning. Uh, no, just uh, just work on those three types of staminas, and honestly, I 100% believe you guys will improve if you do these exercises and use that um, uh, program to, to uh, see how good your stamina is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. All right, thank you everybody. Uh, we will post this on our YouTube channel. You can go back to it anytime, leave comments, and we will get to them. And uh, thanks everyone for your time today. Enjoy your Saturday, enjoy your long weekend if you are in Canada. Uh, and uh, that's it. Yeah, gotta work on our Saturday.